Hey, welcome back, friends. Yes, you read that title right. Uh, we have dissolved our relationship with Lippert. And we did this a little over a year ago, actually. I didn't really care to make it public at the time. I, I don't do drama videos. This is kind of one, and I, I don't really like to do these type of videos. But I know a lot of you have found us through Lippert. I say a lot of you. Some of you have found us through Lippert. And so I feel like you need an explanation. Some of you are still big fans of Lippert. And I also want to just throw up a couple of maybe warning flags to you and let you know what they're doing, how they're doing business, and why we are no longer associated with them. So before we do all that, help us pay some bills and check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120-night sleep trial and a 10-year warranty. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. So head over to rvmattress.com slash wondering and use our code wondering to get 25% off your next mattress. Now let's hop back into today's video. Okay, before we jump into this, let me make sure and make myself very clear that I'm a big fan of business. I've been in business for myself for over 15 years, almost 20 years actually. And so I understand business a little bit. I understand profits need to be made. I understand tough decisions need to be made. And so I'm not against any of that, okay? I'm actually all for it. But today we're gonna to talk about some situations that I'm not for, and I, you're probably not gonna be for either. So let me do some backstory. This is gonna be a drawn out video because I wanna give a sincere explanation. Uh, I think it was 2020, right before COVID started, Lippert reached out to us and asked us to be some of their first brand ambassadors. And this was exciting for us because we're a smaller YouTube channel. Lippert's one of the biggest RV related companies in the world. And we said, you know, what does that consist of? They came back to us and said, well, we really don't know because it's new and, but yeah, we want you guys to be involved. And I said, sure, that sounds great. So for a while, we had a pretty good relationship. They they put disc brakes on our, our travel trailer. Um, they, they did a lot of stuff for us. We were able to redo our doors with the Slim Shade and all of that fun stuff. Matter of fact, we were able to do some fun giveaways. We met some great people that work at Lippert. Okay, so let me be clear. This is not the, about the most of the people that work at Lippert. This is about the inner workings that I eventually saw. All right. So we... Uh, we had a great experience with them for a while, all right? We did Campground Santa, all of that stuff, and all of that stuff was really, really fun. We really enjoyed all of that. So fast forward, I guess two years. They had been talking about, there's, there's three big things here. There's three big things. We'll talk about the first one. The first one is their e-bike. So uh, this is not the biggest of the concerns, but this is, I'll get this one out of the way. They had spoken about this for years. And um, so finally, about a year after, they had told us they were going to send us one. They actually said, actually showed up to our door. Long story short, it was terrible. It left me stranded away from my home about a mile. And uh, even before it would e had even been assembled for more than 20 minutes, it was no longer usable. Okay. So I reached back out to them. I said, Hey, this thing's got real problems. I don't think you should go to market with it, uh, especially for $2,000. And yeah, I did, please don't sell any of these things. They're terrible. Um, again, I had, I didn't even make it a mile down the road before I had to walk it home, literally walk it home. The chain became lodged between the sprocket and the frame and I didn't have anything to pry it out. And um, yeah, it, did, it was terrible. So when I did get home, I was able to pry it out. The thing still wasn't tuned up. You know, they gave me a bunch of excuses of, well, it was shipping, you know, this is a mountain bike. It should be able to handle some shipping. All right. The, the seat that came with it, the, the, uh, it was, it was labeled specifically not for off-road use on a mountain bike. I did not understand that. I mean, I was just kind of befuddled. I was like, really, guys, what's going on? I said, please don't go to market with this. Well, we're already selling them. I said, well, you better be careful. I'm not, I'm not touching it with a 10-foot pole. I don't want anything to do with it. That was number one, okay? That kind of threw up a red flag for me because I knew somebody at Lippert knew that bike wasn't that good. I've had 11 e-bikes since then and they've all been way better and for less money. 
So in comparison, there you go. The e-bike was the first red flag for me. When I had a conversation about the e-bike, I also spoke to some folks about their accessories. Let's get on to that subject. Now, I just mentioned a second ago that we enjoyed giving away some stuff. We had enjoyed uh, being Campground Santa and all of that stuff. And, you know, we were promoting this stuff uh, because we thought it was cool. Well, I'll start to dig a little deeper into some of these accessories that Lippert sells. Camp furniture, grills, tables, gazebos, all of that stuff. I started doing a little bit of research on all of that. And I was very disturbed by what I found. And I brought this up in a call with Lippert. You can see up there on the screen, these are just a couple of examples. Uh, you can go through pretty much everything Lippert offers in their accessories bundles, accessory pages, and you will find that this holds true for almost everything they sell. They're selling things for two and three times what you can get it for at walmart.com or a lot of times even Amazon. So let's go through a couple of them. You can see that first, the heads are called lawn chairs. My grandparents used to have those, right? Pretty cool little chairs there. Lippert's asking, if, I don't know if you can see the price or not. It's kind of hard to see, but Lippert's asking $78.99 for that chair. They're going to charge you $21 more to ship it. So you're over $100 for that chair once tax is involved. Walmart, you can get two of them for $78.99 and it's free shipping. And you can see there, Alibaba, the Chinese supplier, they're pretty much getting them for 10 bucks. So a 700% increase, that's crazy to me. I understand most of the time in retail, you're, you're making 100% profit. So if you spent $10 on something, you probably need to make $10 on it. So you charge 20, right? That's just generally how it works in, in a very generalized terms, okay? The hybrid table, that's not quite as bad. $79 or what am I, $79.99? For the, camp, the hybrid table there from Lippert, 65 bucks from Walmart. Again, you gotta consider shipping. Lippert's gonna charge you 20 bucks to ship that. Walmart gives you free shipping. So there's that one, right? Let's keep going. You can see they're only spending between $15 and $9 on those, depending on how many they buy, okay? It's terribly frustrating. The gazebo, and I've seen so many people out here with these gazebos from Lippert. That's well and good. They're, they're asking $335 for those things. You can buy the same one at Walmart for $170, or you can buy even a nicer one from Alibaba for anywhere from $99 to $105. Same 12 by 12, all pop-up gazebos. You, you kind of see where I'm going here. This one trips me out the most. We have this table. We have this little, we have that other table too, that little aluminum table. But this bamboo table, it's okay. It, it gathers mold and whatever. It's, it's all right. But $190 from Lippert. You can get it from Walmart for $75 bucks shipped to your house. And they're getting them from Alibaba from anywhere from $21 to $28. Again, you can go through everything Lippert sells in the accessories department, their grills, everything like that. And you can find this is the this, this case with nearly everything they sell. When we had the conversation about this, I brought this up to them specifically. Their response was, well, we don't have the purchasing power that Walmart has, so we have to charge more. My response to that was, well, maybe you shouldn't be in this game. Maybe you shouldn't be ripping people off. Maybe you shouldn't be developing these communities that you feel like you develop these communities. Scouts is great. Let me be clear about that. I love Lippert Scouts. I thought it was cool. But man, all of a sudden now, if you're in Scouts, it's really cool to have this chair. It's really cool to have this gazebo. In reality, you're getting ripped off. They are ripping you off. And it just made me upset. So at that point, I said, okay. This was strike two, right? I said, okay, I'm just going to back off from Lippert. I'm not going to communicate with them anymore. I'm not going to talk about their chairs or accessories. I don't want anything to do with them. I didn't want to burn a bridge, so I didn't dissolve our relationship then. But I just, I didn't want anything to do with them anymore. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to back off. Maybe they put this stuff on sale. Maybe they figure out their pricing. I don't know. That was another excuse. I was like, we're still trying to figure out pricing. Well, what spurred this video on is actually I went to their website and their prices have gone up. So I'm a little perturbed, I guess. All right. I'm in a mood today. Anyway, so that was strike two. Strike three came several months later. I hadn't spoke to Lippert in months, two, three, four months. Uh, and a matter of fact, they even got a new social media girl over there. I won't mention her name. That's not fair to her. Um, and, but all of a sudden, out of the blue, I get a phone call. 
and I looked at it. It's from Indiana. And normally, those are, that's an RV-related call because Indiana or Michigan a lot of times. So I answered it, and hi, this is blank. I can't, not, again, I'm not going to say her name. I'm the social media, I don't know, guru, manager, whatever, at Lippert now. Uh, it's, fine. it's good to finally talk to you. She didn't care to introduce herself when she was hired. She just now she's finally talking to me. And I uh, just want to see how you were doing. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I'm good. I'm doing, how are you? Doing good. Oh, and, and one more thing. And the one more thing was, yeah, you did a video on ranch hand, your ranch hand bumpers, what you disliked about that. Uh, if you don't know, Lippert owns ranch hand. Well, ranch hand's very upset. Would you consider taking that video down? And I was just taken aback. I, you know, before then, let me be clear, before then, Lippert had been really cool about videos. They had never asked me to say anything about anything. They would just, hey, are you interested in this? Yeah, we'll send it to you. If you like it, do a video. If you don't, that's fine. And I, I, that's how I work. You know, if, you, if you're going to send me something, I'm going to tell people you sent it to me. And then if I don't like it, I'm not going to give it the time of day. I'm, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. If it's really bad, then yeah, maybe I'll give you a warning. And I should probably should have done that about that e-bike. But by and large, that's, that's how I like to deal with folks. So they, they, hand, they give me something. I use it. I see if I like it. I see if it's any good. And then I share it with you guys. Again, I don't want to waste your time. And so, anyway, she, she comes back. She says, would you consider taking that video down? And I was just kind of taken aback. I said, well, no. I, I, you know, my priority is, is my viewers and my subscribers. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not Lippert. You know, I think that people need to be aware. that Those bumpers and those running boards are thousands of dollars. And I think they need, they need to be aware that their design is less than ideal. And I said, I, you know, and so she said, well, would you consider retitling it? Because this is not looking good on our SEO. And I said, no. Matter of fact, I was going to put, to try to get some clicks, I was going to put what I hate about my ranch hand bumpers. But I didn't want to go that route. I just wanted to be nice. I wanted to be more clear about it. I didn't want to try to, you know, clickbait anybody. And I just said what I dislike about them. They didn't like that either. So she goes, okay, well, yeah, maybe that would look a little disingenuous. Why don't I give you a call in a week and maybe you'll reconsider? And I said, well, you can call. That's fine. So about a week later, she didn't even call. She just sent an email. You see these emails here. And uh, basically saying, hey, you know, would you rename this video? At least rename it. And I just kindly told them this was the third strike for me. And I said, you know what? No. I'm not going to do any of this. This is not how, this is not where this relationship is going to go. I'm not going to allow this. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know some of the people at Lippert. Again, some of the people at Lippert are very, very wonderful people that I've met over there. But uh, if this is how we're going to start playing games, I'm out. And I just sent them a, you know, a nice email. I wasn't, I didn't try to be ugly about it. I'm being much more, I'm being much less tactful in this video than I was in that email. But uh, because it wasn't her fault, you know, she's just doing what she was asked to do. But yeah, there you go. So the e-bike was terrible. They knew it. They still put it on sale. That made me upset. They're overcharging you guys for everything in their accessories. Please just go to walmart.com or, or something like that. Or <laughs> I even told Brooke, I said, hey, maybe we'll get like a whole bunch of subscribers together and we'll just buy this stuff off Alibaba and get a camping chair for like 10 bucks. I'm not going to do that. It's too much trouble, but um, <laughs> maybe one day. But uh, And then finally, asking me to take down videos and change titles to videos, that was the third strike for me. That's why we dissolved our relationship with Lippert. There you go. Guys, I hope you're doing great out there. I hope this serves at least as a, uh, a heads up, okay, to, uh, to be careful and shop around online. Yeah, it was tough. It was, it was, it was actually... You know, I will say of all of this, it was nerve wracking to tell the biggest company, one of the biggest RV related companies in the world to go pound sand, especially as a small little YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it was a little bit nerve wracking, but man, I can tell you a huge weight was lifted from me and I'm glad that we are no longer associated with Lippert. Guys, we're over 75,000 subscribers now and every single video in 2024, I just want to say thank you. I hope you know how sincere I'm being in that. I'm not just saying it every time. I'm sincerely grateful, and so is my family. Hope you guys are having safe travels. See ya.